Hello and welcome to episode 76 of my Working with Todoist series. Before we get started into this episode, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys out there who have subscribed to this channel. We've just gone over the 2000 subscribers mark and I've just blown away by how many people who have found this channel interesting and hopefully helpful in their day to day work. My purpose and my goal for starting this channel was to be able to help people become more productive, less stressed and to get more of those important things done. And if I've achieved that with just one of you guys out there, then I feel mission accomplished. But for all of you guys who subscribed, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a real honor to be able to help all of you. And I hope I can continue to help you in the coming months, years and decades. OK, let's get started into this episode. Now, in this episode, what I want to do is to be able to give you um, an idea that I created about a couple of weeks ago of how to deal with those tasks that are not time specific, not urgent, but also do need to be done at some point in the future. And I came up with this label to manage these type of tasks called next actions. And what I want to do is in this episode is show you how I use this next actions label and how I use it to get those kind of tasks that are non-specific, non-urgent, non-time specific done on almost a daily day based day to day basis. So let's go on into Todoist and have a look and see how it works and see if it will work in your system. Right, what we need to do to set up this next actions label is first of all, of course, to create the label. And remember to add a label, you just go down to the bottom and click add label and then call it what you want and then you can color it whatever color you want in this case because for me it's a very very important label I've labeled it red now if I go into my next actions label what you'll see is a lot of um, <clears throat> uh, tasks in here that clearly don't have first rule of this label is these tasks have no date now if a task has a date, it doesn't really need to go into this list because you don't need it to remind you uh, because the date is going to be your reminder. It will come up into your today view on the date that you set it. Now, if I look in here, re redesign name cards for me and RK. Now, uh, on these name cards, uh, there's no rush. I have a couple of hundred name cards left, so there's no time on this. There's no urgency, um, but it's something that if I've got a bit of time, I can just uh, get on with it and do the redesign. Sort out my banking certificate. Uh, actually, my online banking works, but my mobile banking doesn't work and I need to sort that out. Again, it's not urgent. There's no rush for it, but if I'm passing or if I know I'm going to be passing a bank, I can call in and get it done. Uh, buy some Safia anti cognac shoe cream. Um, again, I've got plenty of shoe cream at the moment, but this is a color that I would really like to buy um, because I have quite a few brown boots and shoes, and this color is just awesome. So I've added it to my list, and if I know that I'm going to be passing a department store that sells this uh, on any particular day, I can go in. So those are the kind of things that I put into my um next actions label now the other thing that i put into this next actions label oh sorry the other a rule i have for this next actions label is no more than 10 tasks in here at one time this label could very very quickly become a dumping ground and once you go beyond 10 or 12 tasks as you can see it would go off the screen and then to me that's an indication that it's become an overwhelming label and it just doesn't isn't going to be useful so i have a solid rule that no more than 10 actions will be placed in this next actions list you could increase that to 12 and if you're using a bigger screen than i am uh, because this is just a 12 inch uh, macbook pro uh, but if you have say a 27 inch um, monitor then maybe you could add 12 but i strongly recommend you don't go beyond 12 tasks in this label you don't want it to become an overwhelming task. The next thing that I've done is in my projects, in my routines folder, on a daily basis, you'll see that 
Um, I have, <laughs> I can't see it, uh, but on a daily basis, I do have review up here, actually, because it's, it's on for today. Review next actions list. This has got a label of uh, priority four, and the reason for that is I'm only going to be checking this when I do my daily mini review, and I do my daily mini review at the end of the day. Um, so go back into my label. So um, at the end of the day, when I'm doing my daily mini review, I will check my next actions list. I check it against my calendar to see where I'm going to be on the next day. So, for example, I have down here, where are you? Visit uh, Ian Opticians to order new glasses. Now, that is coming up. Uh, again, I am not sure which day I can do this, but what I will be doing is when I know I'm going to be in the area where the optician is, I can then add that to the next day's today list. And that is likely to come up sometime next week, possibly Wednesday, maybe. Uh, but I'm not sure yet, and I will decide that on Tuesday evening when I'm doing my daily mini review. Now, once I've removed, uh, once I've taken an action out and put it into my today view, I remove the label next actions. As you know, as you can see here, all of these actually do have, except test how the today view organizes tasks, that doesn't have an additional label. But they have, this one's got design, errands, errands, thinking, errands, um, Chris Min, design, social media. So on these uh, particular tasks, once I remove the next actions label, it's no longer in the next actions list. And I can then see, particularly when I do a weekly review, view, when I review all my tasks, I can check to see if anything can be added to my next actions list. Um, alternative, when I'm doing my daily mini review, I might find one and I can just add the next actions. Now, here's just, just a quick tip. For those of you guys who are using Text Expander or some kind of version of Text Expander, I've created a keyboard, uh, a Text Expander snippet for this. So um, if I just type in here, this is a test. Um, what I've done on Text Expander, and I might go into how to use Text Expander in Todoist in a little bit more detail. But what I've done is I've added the double equal sign, and what that does is it adds the next actions for me. It just means that when I'm doing my daily mini review, um, I can actually just add these tasks really, really quickly. So I've got here download Ipcrest file. Uh, I've just been reading a book which featured that, and I thought, oh yeah, I haven't seen that movie for a while. It's not urgent, it's not specific, so for example, I can just add the double uh, equal sign, bang, next actions comes up, save, it's into my next actions list, and sure enough, now I have um, a next actions folder here. But again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that because I don't want um, necessarily, because I haven't processed that for today. And I might decide that I'm going to do that slightly differently. But this is how I use my next action. So on a, the key to it is when you're do, doing your daily mini review, you check your next actions list, see if you can take anything off it and add it into the next day's task list. If you do, always remove the next actions label because no longer do you want it in that list. The next thing to remember about next actions is keep it to less than 10 or add a push at a less to less than 12 tasks. The reason is you don't want to be overwhelmed by this list. This list could very quickly become overwhelming. And once something becomes overwhelming, there is a resistance to checking it and you don't longer check it correctly. I find 10 tasks is the optimum. It works perfectly. It doesn't it only takes a few seconds to view it. Um, and so I can just move things out. And the other reason why I do this on a daily mini review is um, my my working week is very flexible and a day that might look on Monday, if I look at my calendar on a Sunday and say, oh dear, Thursday is going to be really busy, by Wednesday a lot of those appointments could have been cancelled and I have a much quieter day, in which case I can go into my next actions and populate my today view with tasks that need to be done but are not necessarily urgent and certainly not time specific. So just to review that, the rules are no more than 12 tasks in your next actions folder. They must not have a date. If you have a date, you already have a reminder for it, so it doesn't need to be in your next actions. And thirdly, um, always remove the tag next actions once you've moved it out into your today view. Okay. 
I hope you found that useful. Uh, a little bit more complex and there's quite a few rules to it, but the rules really will help this list become much more meaningful for you. So be very strict with it. And please, once again, I would ask you all, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel. And now I just wish you all a very, very productive week.